campaigners have been protesting against what they say is a lack of ethnic diversity at the top level of Birmingham City Council. The cabinet selected by the new Labour administration's white, apart from one Asian member. There are no black councillors at all. Well, critics say Labour's failing to reflect the multiracial character on which the city likes to pride itself. Well, Giles Latcham is at the council house now. So, strong feelings there, Giles. Yeah, feelings were running high among the 30 or so protesters who gathered in the square earlier on. They were waving placards, chanting slogans. At one point, they massed on the steps to the council, uh, door, the doors of the council's main entrance, which perhaps symbolically, you might think, just happened to be shut, the cabinet being sworn in inside as that was going on. Uh, their message, quite simple, black councillors have been excluded from the top table, the cabinet committee where all the key decisions are taken. By contrast, Labour say the right people have been given the right jobs. If you look at their elected councils as a whole, nearly 40% are from ethnic minorities. Labour didn't want to be interviewed today. Last week, they told the BBC that one black Labour councillor applied for a seat in Cabinet, but was turned down. Uh, there was only one person put the name forward. Right, That person hadn't, in our opinion, got the experience to take on uh, the running of, uh, you know, the job within the Cabinet. And yet, uh, you know, we, we're trying to develop uh, that across the piece and we've got some very very talented uh, people from the the black and ethnic minority groupings coming through well let's talk to one of the uh, organizers of today's protest carver anderson we all want and deserve strong leadership in this city surely that must mean putting ability before color of skin i put them together if i'm honest with you jars so ability is important we need to remember here that the colour of skin is one aspect or so. So I put them both together. If someone has the ability and they're culturally competent, then that would be OK. But we have to ask about the representation here today. Is everybody culturally competent to deal with a, a community, a, a, a city that is so diverse? We've got six Labour black councillors. That's a very small pool to draw on, isn't it? And it suggests there's a wider problem getting black people involved in city council politics in this, in this city. There's a big issue of trust, if they're not, when you ask that question, because we have six, but we have hundreds of young people who say to themselves, I'm not voting because I don't trust the system as it is at this point in time. So I believe that there is a need for training, there's need for coaching, there's need for shadowing. So let's get that package together at this point in time. Carver, that's all we have time for this evening. Thanks for talking to us. The council say they want to put in place a leadership programme with the Afro-Caribbean community to get more black people involved in politics. OK, Giles Latcham, thank you. Police.